fine, thanks, and you. Hi, Jacob. Hi, everybody. Thank you for uh, this uh, invitation. I'm very glad to be here uh, at your great uh, event. Laura, you are a very special person that many women in the Arab world will take you and as an example for the women achievement and women empowerment. Like um, Laura Spicchio is, uh, is leading a very important role for the city of Milan. Laura, can you please tell us uh, what makes Milan a fashion capital? Yes, uh, Milano has a, a long tradition in, uh, in fashion. Uh, long fashion history, uh, you know. Uh, it has been uh, the first Italian city and one of the first city in the world to make the pret a uh, With uh, the pret a Milano began to establish itself worldwide. And uh, fashion in Milano has, uh, first of all, become an expression of uh, cultural industry. Uh, it has expressed uh, movements, uh, uh, trends, uh, opinion, uh, lifestyles. Uh, uh, here, fashion magazines uh, have given Milano voice, uh, and, and I mean the most important magazines. Uh, and uh, one of the first uh, fashion weeks uh, took place uh, here in uh, Milano. And uh, fashion in Milano has become uh, a symbol of uh, trend and success uh, and the international uh, reference point. Uh, and the story still uh, goes on, of course. Uh, oh my God, it's like when you're, when you're talking, I'm just automatically smiling because I love the vibes of Milan during the fashion. <laughs> Laura, uh, tell us a little bit like how fashion um, adds the impact to the vibes and economy of Milan as a city. Yes, uh, I was telling that Milano is one of the world's uh, fashion capitals, uh, as you know. And uh, of course, uh, fashion is uh, absolutely important on both sides. Uh, it is uh, a vehicle of trends because uh, what is born in Milano, I think, is uh, unique uh, all over the world. And, this, uh, and uh, it is uh, somehow special. Um, on the economic side, uh, fashion in Italy represents uh, the second manufacturing sector with more than 1.2 million operators and workers employed. Uh, in Milano, there are uh, over than uh, 12,000 companies, uh, hundreds uh, of uh, showrooms, uh, thousands of uh, sale points, uh, as well as important trade fairs and all the related events uh, which bring to Milano a lot of uh, tourism. Um, there are also some of the most uh, important fashion schools in the world, you know, uh, with uh, thousands of students uh, coming up uh, from many parts uh, of the world. And the fashion sector, uh, I mean, the fashion system represents uh, almost then 10% of the Italian exports. And uh, for Milano, fashion system is uh, a leading sector that gives to the city a specific reputation all over the world. I love it. It's, it's so true. <laughs> it's really so true. Everybody in Milan is a breathing fashion. Everybody is so fashionable. Even during the fashion week, like when, when we're there going from a show to another, even the taxi drivers and everybody in the city is excited and they know about it. Um, Laura, as, as, as the municipality of Milano, what, what effort you put to keep nurturing the scene? Like how important is fashion for your career to keep nurturing it? Like what effort you are putting always to keep the sector growing and growing? Yes, uh, a huge of and constant effort ever and ever, of course. Uh, 
many years ago, uh, the municipality of Milan uh, has uh, signed uh, an agreement with uh, Camera della Moda, uh, I mean uh, Italian National Fashion Council, uh, to support the uh, and enhance uh, new talents and to open uh, and make fashion and uh, events public as much as possible throughout the city. For this season, uh, reason, Milano, for example, cooperates uh, with, uh, Ita uh, with uh, Camera della Moda, Italian National uh, Fashion uh, Council, to create the program of events in the fashion design and creati um, creativity sector. And for example, uh, operates in coordination with the government uh, to support uh, the entire uh, fashion sector, fashion system for the promotion uh, of of the city, um, develops uh, many action to create a job for both uh, uh, startups uh, and the professionals, uh, acts uh, to create uh, um, events and relationships between, uh, uh, for example, uh, fashion and art, uh, culture and uh, entertainment. Every year uh, we have a great week program, a very rich program, and uh, organizes uh, training in the fashion sector and, um, for example, acts in support of uh, sustainability and uh, ethics uh, throughout the whole sector and the uh, related events. That's really amazing. I, I, I vouch and really um, so impressed with all the effort you're putting to keep the city in one of the most important fashion capitals. Laura, how a Milan Fashion Week contributes to the success of Milano? We, uh, you mentioned the, uh, very important factors before about the job opportunities, about the vibes, all this. Can you summarize them, please? Yes. Well, uh, fashion weeks are the most evident moment uh, of the importance uh, of the whole sector, whole system, uh, with uh, big brands, uh, new brands, uh, uh, recognized or unknown uh, talents uh, have the opportunity to show themselves uh, uh, to the whole world. Uh, these are the moments uh, uh, where the city can show itself and uh, attract people uh, to do business, uh, to work, uh, to study and take uh, advantage from uh, all this potential. Um, during the fashion weeks uh, in Milano, all uh, the new trends uh, are shown and often uh, these new trends uh, become avant-garde. Uh, in fact, uh, export is growing. Uh, during the COVID crisis, uh, fashion obviously suffered, but uh, it never stopped. Uh, we have uh, hundreds uh, of uh, streaming uh, events uh, with a million of uh, hits. Uh, fashion Week certainly improved the reputation of Milano, I, I think. Absolutely, I totally agree with you because Milan is Milan and there is no one around the world that does not know Milan Fashion Week. It's very impressive. Um, Laura, um, in your position, such an important woman um, heading um, this sector in Milan, um, what advice do you give to the other governments around the world who are making fashion as part of their vision and strategies? Uh... Uh, well, uh, fashion in Italy represents the second, uh, as I told you, uh, the second uh, manufacturing sector and uh, is a consequently a strategic sector of a great importance. Um, I think uh, the government must invest more and more resources uh, in uh, digitalization, sustainability, enhancement of artisan knowledge and training. Uh, 
in this pandemic uh, situation, uh, we have uh, seen how digitalization, sustainability and digital skills uh, are essential for looking to the future. It is also, I think, it is also necessary to collaborate as much as possible on an international level with projects and programs and uh, to cooperate. And uh, I hope we can work uh, together in the future and uh, try to come out of this crisis and uh, this complicated uh, situation altogether. Because I, I think I, that uh, all together we can do something important. Absolutely. What the pandemic has taught us is that unity is the force to really um, become stronger always. Um, Laura, um, it's extremely impressive. Millions of the job uh, placement created, hundreds of schools, hundreds of showrooms, and millions of tourists are uh, all the time coming to Milan. And many thanks to Milan Fashion Week and uh, the fashion industry's vibes it is pouring into Milan as a city. I thank you very much for your time today and for the very insightful knowledge you shared with us. Thank you very much, Jacob, and thank you very much, uh, everybody. Thank you very and much. And see you uh, soon. I hope to see you soon, of uh, course. Arrivederci. A presto. Grazie. Grazie. Arrivederci a tutti. Uh,